They can use it for they can use it for parts. Uh oh. Where did you get it? Uh, so we're gonna um, we're gonna quickly go through pantheism. We're gonna go to spiritism. Spiritism is the last of the worldviews. Uh, just a little bit of background um, of, of pantheism. Uh, God is everything, uh, and everything is God. Um, and uh, it isn't so much that God is in everyone. It is that collectively everything is God. Um, and the universe and everything in it is divine uh, and interconnected. Um, only the spiritual uh, dimension exists. Um, and uh, man is one with some sort of ultimate reality that isn't defined and isn't personal. Um, and, um, what, and, and people can become one with that reality if they're just enlightened enough. Um, and uh, truth comes uh, through a oneness with the universe or with yourself or it, 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 it's, it's a not, it, the doctrine, and I can't even call it doctrine, is not defined. It's not like Judaism. And you, this is what we believe and, and we all believe this. And this is what we believe in Christianity and this is what we believe. And it, it, isn't, um, it isn't that defined. Um, so I, um, when I, I remember the, remember Terry Cole Whitaker in 7th or in 10th grade, right? The, the crazy woman. Yeah. So, uh, and I told you that for my uh, graduation present from high school, I went to California and my cousin took me to see Terry Kim, uh, Cole Whitaker's, uh, church, uh, church. And we went to, we went to brunch afterwards. And um, my um, cousin um, had, a, had a friend come with us, and, uh, and we, they were talking about the sermon. <laughs> and, uh, and one of the things this, this young man said to me, and remember, I am all of 18 years old. I'm, I'm a kid. And... Um, and he said two things that, that really stuck with me, obviously, because it's been a long time. He, he said that um, everything that we, everything that happens to us in life, we subconsciously ask for. And I said, I asked, um, so did the Jews ask to be in the place they were in, uh, in Nazi Germany? And he didn't battle an eyelash. She said, yes. I said, that's ridiculous. Uh, why would anyone ask for that? Um, and then the other thing that he said was um, he picked up his water glass and he said, a part of me is in this class. My brother-in-law said two things. He said, why did he spit in it? And he said, maybe you should have spit it. And it said, now a part of me is in that glass too. Um, but, um, the, the, and, and it was even, even at, you know, 18 years old, I realized that, um, that pantheistic religions are impossible to understand. It, it is, it is not anything that you can call. And, um, but there, it's very easy to live. Because you just live and do whatever you want to do. There's nobody that's telling you that anything is wrong or that that isn't um, what you're supposed to believe or whatever. Um, and and that is pantheism. It, it is, um, and and I think because of that, people think it's so. Uh, I'm sorry. I should, this is the only word I can think of. Erudite. It's it's like so high and lofty and uh, and otherworldly. When really it's just gobbledygook. It's, it makes no sense. It's very easy to live because there's no constraints. But it's impossible to understand. I'm convinced that even those who believe in pantheism can't understand what it is, what they believe. So, um, 
Um, so um, we uh, are going to move on here to how a pantheist. Well, I have a. I have, Um, I have some pictures. There we go. Um, and and this can this this also bleeds into spiritism, which is what we're going to talk about next. Um, especially the the Pocahontas one, because everything has a soul, everything has a spirit, right? Um, but. Um, Hi, anybody know you know who Oprah is, right? Exactly. Yeah. So um, Oprah is very spiritual, and we're going to spend some time with Oprah soon. Uh, and um, uh, and she's very spiritual. She was raised in the church, um, but her she now believes in the light and being in the light, and that when we are in the light and we are operating out of the light, then that's when we um, are, are closest to God or closest to what we were supposed to be. Um, and that's, that's a pantheistic kind of idea. Um, and then that up there is a knockoff of the, um, of the Ark of the Covenant. Uh, and it, it was made uh, so that it could heal the world. It's a box, pretty box, that's going to heal the world. Um, and, and all of these reasons are why I say it's really easy to live, live out, because there are no constraints on you. But to wrap your mind around it, um, is is impossible. Um, can I play a clip for you last yesterday. Like the one about the the boy who got the superpower. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. We'll see if we have time at the end. We'll see. Um, okay. Let's uh, move on to uh, what's being good. Thank you. Um, so um, let's move on to spiritism. I'd really like to get uh, finished with this um, this lesson before you graduate. So uh, how does does the pantheist um, uh, how does the pantheist uh, answer the five life questions? From where did I come? The universe created itself. I don't know if they believe that the universe is eternal. Obviously, scientifically, we now know that the universe isn't eternal, but it didn't have a cause. It just created itself. Um, that, you know now, is logically impossible uh, after last year's class. Um, but everything, the universe and everything in it, including human beings, is the result of random, impersonal, and undirected forces of nature. Uh, we did not come from a transcendent creator God, but are the result of evolutionary development over millions of years, billions of years, in, and in the beginning, there was a big bang. Uh, that part's true. Uh, and uh, why is there such a mess in the world? Um, I'm not sure this is the exact right answer for, for a uh, pantheist, but science has been abused to harm nature and human beings. But, but I think what they really believe, this is at least as I understand it, is that the, the reason there's such a mess in the world is that people aren't enlightened. Uh, and it's unenlightened people, such as Christians, that make the mess in the world. Uh, and once you're enlightened, once you understand what is real, what is true, um, then you begin acting out of that enlightenment, and and the word world gets better. Um, I think that's I think that is um, more accurate than than what the book has to say. Uh, is there any hope? And again, they talk about um, um, science, and I. 
I, I don't see uh, pantheism as scientific at all. Uh, it's very much feeling and and thinking, but not um, uh, not any kind of science to it. So the only hope uh, of saving the earth is um, better and more ethical science. But I would say it, the only uh, the only hope of saving the earth is for people to become enlightened, to know the truth uh, of uh, of pantheism of, of the universe, um, and uh, and then uh, then things will be better. So it's on us, uh, and we're part is. Followers of Christ were part of the problem, not part of the solution. Uh, what is my purpose in life? And again, they say man's only purpose is to connect deeply and harmoniously with the universe. That is true. Uh, and nature <clears throat> and other hu humans, uh, and to help others do so. And they do that largely with, um, by meditation uh, and uh and uh, that brings unity in the world, unity among people, and unity within the world. Uh, and so they uh, they spend a lot of time in, in meditation. There's nothing wrong with meditation. Uh, the The Bible tells us to meditate as well, right? It's about but but the issue is on what are you meditating? You can meditate on something that is not godly. Uh, you can meditate on something that is not real. Um, and so uh, meditation isn't the problem. What we're meditating on um, is, is what uh, matters. Uh, and then what happens when I die? The body will die and go through a series of rebirths or reincarnations until it eventually becomes one with the universe. Uh, and this oneness is called nirvana. And once you reach there, then there you don't you don't you're not reborn uh, anymore. And the way I had it um, um, explained to me is that you you know you're born and you you die and you're born again and you die and you go and you go through this series of um, births and deaths and births and um, and eventually you just go poof into the universe and, and kind of cease to exist. Um, so that's um, what they believe about um, what happens when we die. Um, okay, so I'm going to um, show you a pantheist clip, uh, and then we'll get started on uh, spiritism uh, and get as far as we can on that. I'm going to. Okay, so on to uh, spiritism. Oops. <coughs> okay, here we go. Spiritism. Um, and you can see from this that, um, uh, that um, everything that's in there is spiritual, right? We've got gods, spirits, demons... Um, and uh, so uh, just uh, like the, the opposite of, um, of uh, humanism uh, is, is spiritism. Humanism, the only the physical world exists. There is no spiritual world. In spiritism, only the spiritual world exists. There is no such thing as a physical universe. It's all <coughs> spiritual. Um, uh, so the spiritists re rejects the God of the Bible, um, and they look to the spirit world for uh, their reason for being, for everything that happens in life comes from the spirits. Uh, and the goal is to please the spirits, because if you please the spirits, good things happen. If you tick off the spirit spirits, bad things happen. And, and Wicca, which is a, it is a form of witchcraft, uh, is... Um, is part of the spiritist uh, family, uh, and um, uh, I'll uh, I'll show you a couple things here. Uh, so um, that's that was a TV show called Charmed about witches, 
Um, and then you see Harry Potter, of course. You know Harry Potter. And then there's an anime um, thing that is spiritist. I don't know what's a, at the top there, but obviously it's a, it's a cartoon of, of some sort. So, um, so as I said, um, the focus of the spirit world is, uh, is about uh, both good and bad spirits. Um, they have this intelligent force that they might call God, but it is not the God of the Bible. Um, and the main um, religion, uh, quote unquote, is Wicca. Wicca is is a um, is a witchcraft uh, religion. Um, and um, let me tell you a little story. Uh, back in the day when my kids were little, um, I I used to call um, going to I, I went to Walmart every week, and I called it the low light of my my week because. I had to take my kids with me, and I became convinced that Walmart pumps a, an odorless, um, uh, um, <coughs> invisible uh, substance into their um, into their vents that simultaneously causes children to misbehave and parents to to lose their mind. Uh, I don't have any hard science on that, but I had plenty of anecdotal uh, proof of that because my kids would uh, act worse at uh, at Walmart than anywhere else, and everybody else's kids also uh, were. So, so I I started um, going to Walmart after Jeff got home from work, and so I'd go pretty late at night so that I didn't have to have these little ones tra dragging behind me, and. Uh, and I often saw this couple um, that were very striking, very tall and very striking, and they were dressed all in black. Um, and uh, the woman was in a, um, in a long uh, dress uh, or maybe a, a skirt in, in black and a black hat uh, and very black uh, makeup. And the man, again, was in this uh, black outfit. And um, I realized that they were members of Wicca, uh, which is a, a type of, of witchcraft. Um, and I remember just feeling this, this heaviness um, about these people. And, uh, and um, it just uh, was kind of freaky to me, really. Uh, but um, but that, that is, uh, Wicca is part of, of the spiritist um, uh, family. So, uh, so the focus is on the spirit world um, and uh, and uh, good and bad. They're good and bad spirits, and and they have this they have this idea of a god, but it's not uh, it's not an actual god, uh, and it's not the god of the Bible. Uh, so everything is interpreted through a spiritual lens. Um, and uh, and they want to do what pleases the spirits, which are actually demons, uh, and uh, and and uh, not do things that make the spirits unhappy. So it's kind of a cause and effect. If you do the right thing, then you get the right result. If you do the wrong thing and you tick off the spirits, then you get uh, a bad result. So uh, it's it's all about making them happy and not making them angry. And so they 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 interpret things after the fact. Oh, that didn't turn out well. I must have I must have um, that I must have made one of the spirits unhappy. Or, Ooh, that really turned out well for me. I, I must have made them. Happy. So, uh, and truth is found uh, through a medium. Uh, sometimes, by the way, the Bible um, <coughs> directs us to stay away from all such things. Like that. Uh, and um, uh, I have had a friend uh, that I, I used to um, teach with that uh, was not a believer, and uh, she lost both of her parents, and she went to see a medium to find uh, to contact her her parents, and uh, and the guy know, knew things about her that he couldn't have known, uh, and he told her things about her parents that. Um, 
here's the thing, um, and this is what I believe, um, and I believe this is why the Bible is so adamant that we not get into such things. I think there really are demons, and I think that's who are they, they're contacting. They're not co contacting that woman's parents, that parents. And, and the demons, Satan, Satan is not all-powerful, and he's not all-knowing, and neither are the demons. But they know stuff. Uh, they, they are spiritual beings. Uh, and the Bible is adamant that we stay away from them. And it is, it is dangerous. You know, Ouija boards, all that stuff. It is dangerous. There are cards uh, to get involved in that. Um, you are just inviting um, evil uh, in when you do that. So, um, so that medium, then that person who has insight is what they usually call it, but, but extra um, knowledge uh, can, can help you. Um, but again, it is not a godly thing. So uh, contact with the spirit world brings a, a one into communion with various spirits uh, and God, lowercase g, not the God of the Bible. Uh, but they, the, the God that they call God, uh, and, and uh, that he is, it is uh, a creative uh, force in the universe, but not a personal God. Uh, and moral values are determined uh, by the things, uh, whether they, uh, how, how the spirits um, uh, respond. If, if, you, if, you have a, if you have a good outcome, then made the spirits happy. If you have, if you irritate the spirits, then, then, then something's going to go wrong. Uh, but they look at it that, well, okay, that was the wrong thing to do because it turned out bad. Not because it turned out bad, but because the spirits um, <coughs> made that happen so that, um, you know, they, that person would know not to do that. Uh, and, um, uh, and then good works in life. Uh, help ensure a person a person greater uh, spiritual evolution. They believe in reincarnation. So uh, the better you are, the the higher you go um, with reincarnation, and the worse you are, then you uh, the lower you go in reincarnation. And they go through this series of birth and life and death and birth and life and death, trying to uh, to um, go higher. Um, on the um, in in the spirit world, um, and and Jesus is seen as maybe a positive positive uh, role model to follow, but he's not viewed as God. He's not viewed as as the um, Messiah in any way. So we're going to stop there. Uh, we'll we'll finish this up, I think, tomorrow. Finally, um, and uh, yeah, yes. Yeah. So you can just maybe watch the chronicles and then